our objective at IHE is to contribute to making water systems sustainable. And what we see is that a lot of water systems, and these can be a water supply system, it can be an irrigation system, it can be a system of large dams, are oftentimes uh, not managed in a sustainable manner. So that's the, that's the first thing. Now, the, if they are not functioning properly, this may be a technical problem, but oftentimes it is not only technical, the, the, the problems that uh, make systems unsustainable. Oftentimes there is also a management weakness in the system, or even uh, there are uh, political issues at stake. Um, so therefore, in this research line on water management and governance, we, we try to understand water systems in a holistic manner. We adopt two approaches. The first approach is to, have, to adopt a more analytical approach to understand how these systems work. The other approach is more of an instrumental nature, where we try to develop tools and test instruments to make them work better. There is a, a, a new project uh, starting in the Mara, which is a, a, a river that flows from Kenya into Tanzania and then in Lake Victoria, and it becomes part of the Nile Basin. Um, in the upstream part, we see very uh, beautiful forests. Slightly lower down the hills, we see very fertile lands where lots of farmers have been farming for, for, for a long time. Very fertile. When you go further down, you, the, the, the area becomes drier and hotter, and there, there we see the pastoralists, the Maasai, who are uh, grazing their herds. But then with the herds come also the, 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 the wildlife, and there's severe competition over natural resources, grass, grasslands, but also water. And then further downstream, you have a, a nature reserve, the, the famous Maasai Mara, which is a very uh, hotspot uh, attraction for, for tourists. You can imagine that uh, in, in, in uh, 100 years ago, all these different uses of the basin were, 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 uh, uh, could live next uh, side by side. But with the increasing pressure on the land, we see, for instance, that the Mao forest is being deforested because uh, new farming households uh, are looking for, for fertile lands and create uh, their, their fields on very steep lands, which create erosion. Of course, this erosion creates uh, problems of, of nutrient loss in, in the fields, but also of sediment, uh, sediments in the river. And then you see that there is lots of overgrazing, which creates also problems of, let's say, erosion, which again hampers and competes with uh, the, the, the natural resources in the Masai Mara Park. So in this project, we would uh, like to develop a system of co-governance of this uh, beautiful river basin, whereby those who benefit from the resources also take responsibility for the upkeep of the natural resource base. My major fascination of, uh, of water is that because we know that we all need water, that water becomes uh, a medium of collaboration. And that's what we see in many places. As much as people sometimes say that water is a cause for war, we have more evidence also on the ground that water brings people together. We see this in, in the Netherlands, my own country, with the, the, the old water boards, but we see it also in countries like uh, Tanzania or Nepal. And that is, I think, uh, a, a fascinating uh, given, which we want to document, and we want to teach a new generation of uh, water leaders f that water indeed is, uh, is a catalyst uh, for collaboration and peace.